G'day viewers and welcome back to the channel. Firstly, thank you to all the folks who have been asking questions and leaving comments on my wireless Blackmagic camera control videos. Apparently, there is not a lot of understanding about Blackmagic's REST API and how this inbuilt software can be used to wirelessly control different Blackmagic cameras. Blackmagic users, particularly the Micro Studio 4K G2 owners, have felt a little bit out in the cold when it comes to wirelessly remote controlling their cameras. The irony is that having the API to create apps to run on a PC, Mac, an iPad, or a phone ships installed in the camera. Blackmagic has made no secret of this feature, but for some reason, not many folks have picked up on it. I will go into more detail on how you can download and create your own software to wirelessly control this camera later in the video. So let's cut to the chase. Here is the rig. I start off with my basic run and gun setup. As I'm using a cell phone to transmit the stream, it doubles up as your monitor. I use a Sennheiser MKE 600 as it has the option to be powered by an internal AA battery and plugged directly into the camera. Here I have the mic connected to a Rode wireless transmitter with the Rode receiver connected to the 3.5mm input on the camera. Yes, there is a slight loss of quality, but you're in a live environment so you're never going to capture perfect sound. The trade-off is I can quickly detach the mic or use the optional interview go with the second row transmitter for live interviews. Plus, you have a backup copy of the audio recorded directly onto the road transmitters. Trust me, having a backup of your audio is a good thing. The small rig battery can power the camera and keep the phone charged via the power input on the hub. This battery is a big upgrade from the last video and gives you hours of continuous power. As in my previous live streaming video, I am also recording in 4K to a one terabyte SSD. Using a second phone to connect to the camera, I can hit record, adjust white balance, auto expose, adjust the iris, ISO, and manually or auto focus. The phone controlling the camera can be either mounted on the rig or located hundreds of feet away. For anyone filming in an environment with changing lighting conditions, being able to quickly adjust your exposure or white balance in real time is a big thing. Filming outdoors on a set, having an AC who can do more than pull focus can save a ton of time in post. The Hollyland 4K transmitter and receiver can be used by the AC to monitor and control the camera in a remote location. If you have line of sight, this configuration would be good to at least 400 feet as cell phones seem to have stronger wireless chips than the iPad. If you used a more powerful router or created a mesh network, then distance is not a concern. Regarding the camera control software, with not a lot of HTML experience and ChatGTP, you can create your own app for a phone in a few hours. I used an HTML editor on my PC to edit and test the software and then Treb edit to run the software on my phone. There you have it, another way to better create content using Blackmagic's REST API wirelessly via a cell phone. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel and hit the like and notify buttons as I will be producing more videos on how you can apply this wireless technology to overcome challenges and create exciting new content. I hope you will see me in the next video. Cheers.